Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have this Terret 130 and um, I upgraded it to, or I flashed Betaflight to it and I upgraded the ESCs a while back. I've, and next thing you know this ESC lighted up. So I ordered a new ESC, I plugged it in, didn't work. It wouldn't even light up. So I took it apart, I looked at the PDB and as you can see this little burn mark. So I'm assuming the pin for this signal of this ESC got completely damaged with the, when the ESC burned. So I've contacted uh, Terret and they're just completely ignoring me. So anyways, I ordered a new uh, flight controller slash PDB and this video is just going to be uh, how to replace the Terret 130 uh, flight controller. So <clears throat> um, I'm assuming you guys know how to take it apart. Just a couple screws on the top and then it just pops right off. We remove this, that's the first step. Second step is we're gonna desolder everything here. So let's get started on that right now. And um, just take note of the orientation of it. So it's gonna be put into, it's gonna be put in just like this right here. So uh, uh, you don't mess up any of the orderings of the motors. So I've just heated up my workstation to 350 degrees Celsius, my solder station, and now I'm just going to start desoldering the uh, wires one by one. So let's, let's let me get that organized and ready. All right, let's get started. Um, all right, we're going to start with this here since it's the easiest. Uh, we're going to heat it up now. I don't know. Oh no, now I know. Uh, it's not uh, lead-free solder. That's for sure. Because if it was lead-free solder, then we would have to increase the temperature between 400 and 450 Celsius. So, it's not. There we go. And there we go. We got the first part done. We got the second. Alright. That was pretty simple. Do the same here. There we go. Now we're done. Now let's place in the new PDB and uh, Let's skip over this real quick because this is going to take a while. Alright, so uh, all four screws are removed, but it won't budge. Um, I don't know if they glued it or am I missing something here? Um, or maybe it could be this uh, the buzzer. I want to focus. Okay, or it could be the buzzer that you just, you just need to push on it maybe. I don't know. I mean, Oh no, they they had uh, some kind of adhesive, if that's the right word I would say. Uh, so there we go, you just gotta give it a little push and a uh, little pull and it'll pull right out. So we're gonna stick the new one in, obviously we have to remove the uh, buzzer here, the buzzer sticker. Alright, and Let's put it in. So, I'm guessing, I mean, I don't know, since they had this kind of... I don't know, adhesive thing. We should do the same also. But, uh, maybe we can hit it with a little bit of hot air. And that'll just re... Uh, make it melt and just grab again. Anyways, we're gonna see how this is gonna go. So we're just gonna put in the screws now. <clears throat> Let me skip over this and I'll be right back. Alright, uh, all the screws are in place now. Now, the pads don't have solder on them, or maybe they do, but it doesn't seem like much. So we're going to have to put solder on the pads first, and then uh, and then start soldering in the wires one by one. And it's just straight in there, you know, positive, uh, the signal, which is the white wire, and the ground, which is obviously the black. Um, so what I'm going to do is right now is actually I'm going to get a little bit of flux 
Uh, you don't have to use Flux. Um, I just prefer to use Flux because it just makes everything a lot easier. So I don't think I'll retin the uh, wires. So let's just get that there. All right. Let's put this here. Okay. So I'm going to start with the positive. We're gonna work our way down, or maybe work our way up. Oh, I don't know what's easier. We're gonna work our way down now. So we're gonna start here. So it did have some solder. Um, so I don't recommend you put much, just a little dabs, because you don't want it going anywhere. Because it's very tight uh, space. Hold on. I don't want to hit that uh, wire battery wire so let's see it's a alright <clears throat> let's start soldering in the wires so here's the positive so obviously positive is going to go to the plus sign so positive will go here and these are silicone so that's good but the signals signal wires are not the motor signal wires are not signal, uh, not silicone. There we go. Okay, it's ground. Okay. Now we need ground. If you have something to grab it with, I would, I would recommend that because it's pretty toasty. Okay. It's a bad one. It's a bad joint. What I like to do is use these hemostats, I think they're called. Sometimes they make things a lot easier. They just grip. Alright, hold on, because we don't want to burn the uh, battery wire here. I don't know if it's silicone, I forgot, I didn't check it. Okay, that's good. We just removed some of the solder off the uh, negative pad. So we're going to have to add a little bit more here before we continue. Okay, there you go. Let's grab this little guy here. I don't know if the settings are exactly the same, if not, I have no idea, and this is going to be a bit challenging and a bit difficult because we have the battery wires in the way. Man, that's hot. I'm just going to redo that pause if I don't like it. There we go, that's good. <clears throat> now, same process for these. We're gonna get a little flux. Put a little some flux on it. Okay. And tin the pads again. Let me see if I can do something about the lighting. Maybe I'll make it a little bit better. I think I'm actually making it worse. Okay, so. Here we go. Start from the top again and work our way down. But be careful not to hit this uh, battery wire here, you know what? 
do it like this. So. Yep, that's better. And again, don't put so much because these are it's a very small area. See, we just got a little negative that just leaked over to a capacitor. Let's let it cool down for a bit. And we get some, uh, get some solder wick and get a little flux also to remove that. Let me just take a look at it. I think we actually we bridged many things. Alright oh, you guys, I had to fix that off camera. Um, it's fixed. It actually, you, and again, you really have to be careful with this. The solder jumped to the capacitor and jumped to this uh, regulator, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think it's a regular lin linear uh, voltage regulator. And uh, now we're going to do positive, negative, and this pad. So, and again, be careful while you're doing this. It's it's very tight spot, and don't put so much. And make sure you keep the 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 uh, solder tip clean. And don't do it on camera like I am. <clears throat> there we go. Finish these. Let's start soldering them in. So we're gonna. Take the positive. Positive goes to plus. Focus. All right. Just place it on top. Shake it in a little. Let it heat up. Nice. Motor signal now, or ESC signal, whatever you want to call it. Okay. getting a bit tricky since there's little tiny components right next to it. I think they do these things on purpose. So if you go try to do it, you just mess it up, and then they just make you go buy another one. I mean, there's so much room on this board, they could have put this somewhere else. It could have been right there. Look, look at all this. It's just empty space right here. Well, they want to make money. And they almost made money for me again. one all right we're good to go now uh, let it cool down a bit I have to replace this motor because the wire ripped off of it so and it's just completely gone and these are very tiny motors so I'm gonna replace this motor real quick and uh, I'll be right back so we can do a little test and hopefully nothing burns <clears throat> so Alright, just give me a moment and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I just replaced the motor. Uh, as you can see, this is the old motor. Uh, you can't see and you won't be able to see it. It's just one wire, like one strand of wire. And the other one is just down here, I see. So this got ruined and I don't know if I could take this apart. But at, at this moment of time, I'm just going to keep it as a backup. Maybe a bell or a bearing or the C-clip. So we're just going to put that off to the side. So here's a moment of truth now. Uh, this one did, the, the, these ESCs have LEDs on them. This one did not light after I replaced it. <clears throat> and after I replaced it, that's when I ruined that motor. And uh, I mean, this is a good tactic to make money, I guess, for them. And it actually works. So anyways, <clears throat> um, we have this sticking up since we don't have any heat shrink around it. And here's a moment of truth, guys. Let's see. Hopefully no smoke. Alright guys, sorry about that. The camera died right as I was trying to plug it in. I saw I'm not plugged it in. Uh, and this is the moment of truth. Let's see. I hope there's no smoke. If there's smoke, then we're gonna really go after tear it.
Yep, everything's working. That one's not twitching, why? Twitch. Twitch, little buddy. Anyways, the ESC's on. So, this means that it's a successful, uh, successful installation of this flight controller. So, this is going to conclude it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it to help someone out there and uh, if you guys like please sub uh, if you guys liked it please subscribe and like my video and if you guys have any suggestions just let me know so that concludes it for this video take care guys and happy flying, flying.